Namaste again, my beautiful queens. You know, I have um, uh, recorded a video today about the um, empath narcissist's dark love story. And I decided to do such a reading. Am I dealing with a narcissist? Why such a reading? Because sometimes... Uh, not sometimes. Uh, the thing is that a narcissist wears, as we already know, if you watched my videos or Dr. Ramani's videos or other uh, videos about the subject, uh, that uh, narcissists, uh, all of them, manipulators, all of them, they wear, uh, first of all, they are extremely charming. They are extremely intelligent and extremely charismatic. They are very hard to miss. You you feel drawn to them, especially if you're an empath. So um, because they are wearing masks so brilliantly, so so very, very brilliantly they are wearing their masks, it's uh, hard to... Um, sometimes uh, know who you are dealing with especially if you don't know this person for a long time you just met this person or or you've been dealing with this person so you know what i have decided i'm going to use the photom deck to make a reading but um i have decided not to only attach it to love relationship because you might have this person among uh, your relatives, uh, among your uh, friends. Maybe you even suspect that one of your parents is narcissistic and damaging you even now or have damaged you in your childhood and use maybe one of your parents you suspect or both of your parents or one of your parents. Maybe it's a boss, maybe it's a friend, maybe it's because they have this dark empath now, uh, a, lo a lot of description about dark empath, which even I didn't know existed such a thing as a dark empath. It's also so the type of a narcissist manipulator so um maybe it's a neighbor maybe let us do this i'm gonna take five cards uh five cards which uh will answer to such question is this person you dealing with a narcissist and you can attach to each card a different person. For example, card number one, my boyfriend. Card number two, uh, I don't know, my my uh, cousin or, or whatever. Or card number three, my friend, which you think she's your friend, but something is not feeling right. So like that. So five cards. And uh, of course, take what resonates because, uh, of course, I cannot <laughs> hit every uh, person uh, if it's not general if, if it's not personal reading so uh, let us see am i dealing with a narcissist whoever this person is attach this person to one card we're gonna do five asking the spirits of fire uh, earth air and water the guides the keepers the guardians to give us the answers to our question uh, let's take two cards uh, uh, for uh, each um, each number. To my forehead, to my mouth, to my heart. Now let's take one first and I'm going to clarify if uh, it's not clear. Card number one. Am I dealing with a narcissist? Card number two. Am I dealing with a narcissist? Card number three. Am I dealing with a narcissist? Card number four. Am I dealing with a narcissist? Card number five. All right. So, because personality is best looked at uh, with one card only, because uh, I, if I'm going to start talking to you about uh, two cards, uh, then it's going to be very complicated. So, am I dealing with a narcissist? Card number one. Uh, Ace of Pentacles, that would be a negative answer. Of course, take what resonates. If you are dealing with a narcissist, then, then you are. But uh, I will. I have to read you the card. So card number one, uh, the um, 
a uh, very good card, very positive card. It's not a narcissist. It's actually a, uh, but it's a very lucky person. It's someone who gets lucky easily. Uh, it's someone who is very satisfied with life, uh, you know, happy with life, uh, like full of joy. Uh, it's a person who loves to have money and buy all the best. For example, you know, our best clothes, best car, uh, best, uh, you know, furniture, so on and so on. Uh, it's someone who is healthy, uh, physically and healthy mentally. Uh, it's someone who really loves uh, stability in life. Uh, loves this, you know, a feeling of uh, being safe, of like knowing like tomorrow uh, I'm going to have this, this, this and this and this and this. So it's a positive personality and um, um, is a reliable personality. Again, girls, please pay attention to your own, uh, <laughs> your, your own situation. I'm reading you the cards. So this is not... Um, this is not a narcissistic personality at all. Uh, actually, in a, a love relationship or in relationship, they, uh, especially in love relationship, this is a very positive card because it's a card of uh, someone who wants good relationship uh, with everyone, especially if he chooses uh, himself. A woman, if it's a man, they they don't look for, you know, a fling. They, they like to find so-called the one and stay with uh, the one they uh, don't like to they, they you know they are too uh, their sense of uh, self-love and self-values and uh, self-respect is so high that they wouldn't you know run from one partner to another it's not this pathological liar and cheat they love to have you know this long many many years lasting friendships many years lasting uh, good relationship among their relatives uh, and if they find it's type of a person who believes that you have to marry once and for the rest of eternity uh, they um, they might not be you know awfully romantic but they are very earthy they like to be happy and comfortable they like to have everyone around them happy and comfortable and they like to have their wife their their family uh, to uh, be nice and happy and comfortable he's really uh, interested in happiness and joy of the people around this if it's if it's a he if it's a she would be the same thing so no this is not you are not dealing with a narcissist as you know i read the cards i read how the cards are here this is how i read them <clears throat> number two i Oi, oi, that's not something I really wanted to see, a really bad, a very, very bad thing. The problem is that, you see, uh, does it remind you something in reverse position? This card looks like a cross. So, um, even if I put, in, put it in upright position, which I can do, uh, it would be not good at all. But um, I see a huge warning here for you huge warning here for you because um of course again take what resonates but some of you who are listening to this now consider this uh abusive relationship it, it not necessarily already explained many times if someone doesn't physically abuse you it doesn't mean that uh emotional abuse psychological abuse uh and the mental abuse is still abuse but you you could be uh, thinking that this is your cross and you must stay because you are saving someone. Uh, I have told you many times, you cannot save anyone. People uh, stay the way they are. So uh, it could be that you are running away from a uh, decision of getting rid of this situation. Uh, you don't want to see how things really are. You might have, again, take what resonates. If it's not your story, this uh, message is meant to be for someone else. But um, this card is negative as you gave 
your life, your power to someone else. It's a cross. It's 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 really 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 you are be, you. It's like a devil card in upright or reverse position. You uh, became a prisoner. So it's it's uh, like Stockholm syndrome or codependency, neurotic dependency. Like this uh, requires not even a psychologist. It like requires a psychiatrist because it's a woman who is being severely treated wrong but she stays because by some strange reasons she believes that she must stay there um i i could uh you know like if it was if it was a question about a parent for example uh you again it's it's not for all of you but for example you uh, took your sick father into your house because no one else would want him or take care of him uh and this would mean that uh, he really abusive towards you, but you cannot come out because you think this is your father. It's your cross. You have to stay and take care of him forever, even though he traps you with guilt, traps you with, you know, presses all your button of the guilt, shame, blame, responsibility, or not your father, but your mother, uh, uh, and you were conditioned and brought up that you must take care of uh, the father or the mother or maybe it's your sibling maybe it's your you know, alcoholic brother I've seen it this way when parents somehow loved an alcoholic brother who didn't have a job uh, who would um, you know spend all the money he was earning for alcohol but uh, the parents they um, they told the daughter that she must take care of her brother she must take and she she's done it for like 20 years uh, i've seen this car until she one day she cut off the communication with parents and her brother because her parents constantly convinced her that she must you know she must provide for a for a, a lazy alcoholic brother who just drinks sleeps and can't hold any job for more than three days this is as i said the cross is my cross which i have to carry now please understand that this is a self-destructive even if you have this person which you believe you can't leave uh, please try to find um, the solution and to come out of it because this is self-destruction it affects your health really badly it affects your uh, physical health your emotional and mental health um, it's um, even sometimes you feel anger even sometimes you feel um, like you want to get away but uh, you suppress it and you stay because you believe so so it's you see it's that or or uh, it can be you who believe you have to stay with this, whoever this man is, you know, your lover, your husband, your uh, parent, your brother. Please understand that freedom is your right, your birth right. Please understand you don't belong to no body you're not a slave of nobody and uh when i saw similar uh similar situation with a woman who did take uh her sick father who who tortured her every day nothing good enough was ever uh after years like this when she developed a fatal illness um she simply hired she rented the place she hired a caregiver and the father cursed her for that because now he could not torture her anymore because this is what he liked to do he liked to torture her while she was taking care of him uh, she she started to pay to caregiver and she completely came out of the situation he allowed no more the guilt trap so this card uh, tells you that yes you you are dealing with someone really cruel uh with someone you know really uh very very negative who tortures you but somehow you believe that you must there is no way out you must well this belief is wrong 
you you uh, if you can't find the solution right this very moment right now uh, please think think what you can do uh, take baby steps but this is uh, the problem is of course changes are not going to be changes are not going to happen this person this person not going to act any kinder or any nicer or any this is very negative situation so you need to escape you find figure out how to escape but please understand something very clear in this card even if you cut if you even if you sell every drop of your blood even if you cut out your heart put it on a plate and give it to this person still bleeding this person will tell you that uh, you could have given also your kidneys and lungs why only heart you're giving you can uh, sell your soul uh, and give the money to this person no matter what you give to this person throw the world buy them golden castle uh, you gonna still be not good enough you never are going to be good enough for them they will always blame you they will always trap you in guilt always criticize you always make all possible to make sure you feel inadequate to make you sure you are not good you are not deserving in anything good or happiness and joy and uh this is journey to complete disaster so please if it rings a bell think about it <clears throat> number three uh, Knight of Cups. <laughs> no, that's a, that's not a narcissist. A Knight of Cups is not a narcissist. You're not dealing with a narcissist, but he's a little bit, uh, you know, he's a tiny bit uh, too too romantic sometimes, uh, because he he likes to to find this, you know, uh, charming ideal woman. But it's not an arc. It's actually it's actually he can be a little immature. He can be a little dream you know too much of a dreamer uh to a little bit irresponsible a little bit it's a creative person it's like this a forever child even if he's 73 he's still forever child he loves emotions he loves you know to fall in love he loves to fall in love um because you know love brings him spike of his creativity love brings him joy uh love brings him uh, you know the the sense of life uh, but no he, he if this is a brother it's a great brother if it's a friend it's a great friend he's charming uh, he is uh, you know can be very giving but he he likes to be flattered he likes to hear nice sweet words uh, he uh, <laughs> he's like that but he's not evil no 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 that's not a narcissist that's not a, a psychopath not a dark triad or a dark empath no 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 that he's romantic he's sensitive he's a dreamer uh, he absolutely cannot hurt in purposely or use someone or, or he, he can be sometimes feels like uh, he can feel like he's above the ground somewhere but no 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 and he he can uh, actually be a little bit of a no, you know, it's not type of a womanizer who collects women to rise his self-esteem uh, at their expense. Uh, no, it's like how to tell you. Um, he sees a woman and he falls in love. And he, while he thinks he's in love with her for probably several weeks or several months, he's sincere. The problem is with him, just like with the card of a fool, he turns around, you know, goes to the grocery stores, uh, locks eyes with someone else, and he, now he's in love with someone else. And he, he doesn't mean to hurt the, that one previous, but it's just like this. They are... They are lovers, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a card of a lover who just uh, flies from one, it's like a new butterfly, flies from one flower to another flower, but he's not evil by nature, no, it's, a, it's not an arc, no. It's not an arc, uh, they, you know, he, you hardly can build a reliable committed relationship with him for a long time, but it's not, it's not an arc. Our question is, are you dealing with an arc? No, you're not dealing with an arc. Next, two of sir. <clears throat> well, uh, you know, I cannot tell you that uh, you are dealing, as, you know, even with this card with two of swords, you are dealing with an arc. 
uh, but you are not dealing with um, extremely uh, person, good person uh, either, what it is. Uh, they are, <clears throat> it's a personality, it's not a narcissistic personality, no. So the answer to question, am I dealing with a narcissist, would be negative. But at the same time, you know, there is this uh, um, fairy tale or idea or theory uh, that uh, ostrich, or I don't know if they really do it. So ostrich, whenever there is a danger, they just stick their head into the ground. Just kaboom, they stick it into the ground. So uh, two of swords does the same thing. This one does not solve any problems. You have to solve all the problems. He does not do anything. He's just not going to do anything. Uh, he doesn't like to, um, to act. He likes to be, you know, kind of like sad. You know, I'm sitting there being sad. I need to understand something, but I don't know what exactly I need to understand. Um, it, it, it's like they are um, motionless. So what we are having uh, in two of uh, sorts is like someone who is who is motionless and uh, it's a card of stagnation they are not uh, strong personalities ambitious because narcs are you know they need supply they need to use people they are ambitious they like power they're they're money thirsty money thirsty power thirsty uh, they are uh, like thirsty for more and more. No, this one, no. This one is, uh, you know, he's looking at himself in the mirror, holding down his sword, and he's enough for himself. Like he is really is enough for himself. It's it's a, it's kind of like a, a loner who tries to take control over his own inner world and doesn't need someone else. So the he's always doubting. It's like he decides something, then he doubts. He's full of doubts. He has a lot of inner fears and doubts. The problem is if this is about relationship, building relationship with two of sorts, it's impossible. Not because he's an arc, but because he just gonna stay motionless. Even if you, you know, bring all your things into his apartment and tell him you're his wife, his wife, he's, not, he's still not gonna be doing anything. He's loner and he doesn't feel like he needs anyone. He... If he starts relationship uh, with someone, they just pretty much die uh, pretty much at the beginning. The mistake women do is them that they don't see them as very bad people. You know, they're not really bad people. They don't uh, in purposely hurt someone. But it's just someone who's not going to act. Like you, a woman starts relationship with him, they see not a very bad guy, you know, not a bad guy, not a, bi not a guy who... Uh, who's a womanizer or using people or hurting people and uh, women start a relationship with them thinking you know he's not a bad guy a little you know, a little sad a little bit uh, depressive a little bit not into himself it's like a moon uh, but at the same time, uh, women wait, can wait for like two years uh, ahead, and um, unfortunately, he's not going to be acting. He's he's not interested in building relationship or family or anything with anyone because he's always worried: Am I doing the right thing? Maybe I'm doing the right thing. Am I really doing the right thing? Okay, I'm not going to do anything. Okay, I have decided. Next day, oh, maybe I should do something. Five minutes later, no, I think I want to keep everything as it is. So he always just stays where he is and they rarely get married or even rarely get into long term a relationship because they don't want a responsibility decision making uh, uh, having you know having take having to take care of someone so uh, they are not bad people but they are impossible to build uh, anything with but uh, the question are you dealing with a narcissist no this is not a narcissist <clears throat> and the last card for us today is number five, three of pentacles, absolutely not. This is a hard-working dude, uh, and uh, actually in, rela in a love and relationship, it's a, um, a good card, positive card, because he likes to uh, develop things uh, surely and slowly. He likes to work at their relationship, but of course only if he is 
uh, there, uh, if he's short, this is the one. He is calm, he is hardworking, he is, uh, you know, centered at what he does. Um, he um, likes to find resolutions to the problems. He always learns to be better at what he does. Uh, absolutely not a narc at all. Uh, he likes to have good relationship with people. He doesn't like to hurt people. He's good uh, candidate if he if he's not married, of course. If it's a married dude, he'll he'll stay in family. Uh, three of Pentacles, just like Emperor, they never leave families. If the married dude, they always stay uh, with their wives. But um, it's not a narc. Not if if you start a relationship with such a man and he believes you are the one. If you if he doesn't believe you are the one, he's not gonna start usually a relationship with you. But if he really starts relationship with you, he contributes. He makes sure you are a part of his um, life. He he's the one who calls. He's the one who brings you groceries. He's the one who fixes your roof. He's the one who uh, when he meets you, he first you know he looks at you. He asks you, did you eat today? You know, are you having? Uh, are are you are you warm? did you eat today like he likes uh, it he's a true real man a true real man uh who first of all before he tells you anything before he does anything he makes sure that uh, you are taking care of this one if you call him and say hey listen my car broke before you even finish the sentence he's going to be there he's going to be there in the middle of the night he's going to be there even if you are 10,000 miles away he's going to be there of course if you don't deal with a man like this this is not a message for you but if you do deal with a man like this this is a message for you he uh, he's very serious and he uh, emotionally involved in, uh, with his partner he cares uh, again if it's your friend or your co-worker uh, the same thing he's very uh, very compassionate very kind he takes care of everyone he's uh, always trying to improve himself he gives his time his emotions his efforts and he protects he really protects what he um what he he holds dear pretty much this is the pentacles pentacles like to do that uh he always likes to make sure the woman is happy for example you speak chinese and he's american he will learn chinese uh, if you are filipino he, and he is uh uh, from London, he's going to learn to cook uh, Filipino dishes to make you happy. He always loves to have people around him happy, especially if it's a woman he loves. So it's not an arc, not. <clears throat> so my beautiful queens, uh, this is their answers to your question. Am I dealing with an arc, whoever that person is? And these are the answers which cards gave us. So take what resonates, uh, and uh, I am um, finishing this reading for now. I will talk to you soon. Namaste and blessings.